almost finished packing. I don't want to brag, but I'm really good at it. When I was 12, I rolled the score over on an arcade Tetris machine, so... Anyway, we're leaving tomorrow for the gaming convention. The guild is carpooling in Vork's creepy van, so as long as there's not an Amber Alert out, we should arrive tomorrow, ready for a weekend of... I'm not really sure, I've never been to a nerd stravaganza before, but getting offline and out of my element will be awesome. Give me some space to work out my chaotically aligned feelings about Zabu. Am I into him? Do I want to do the nasty with him? Idea isn't repulsing me, but whatever. Road trip! Family of six flipping us off. Uh, Ding, that looks like a very fun game. But if you could lower this a bit so I can see this area better. Back off. God, why did I agree to go on this trip? Bork, do something. Blades, stop doing whatever it is you're doing to Tink. Hey, it's that family again. Still, still giving us the bird. <laughs> I'll have your license, fiend. Dude, how am I driving? Hello. Are we there yet? 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 <laughs> Clara, don't make me pull this guild over. Are you watching the video I made you? Oh my god, you made High School Musical? No, I recorded your kids saying goodbye to us. It was super cute. They noticed? Now they're gonna tell Wiggly I left. Fudge nuts. I spy with my zombie eye. <laughs> my fist coming towards your face if you don't shut the F up. Come on, Tink, everybody loves a car game. Ow! Oh, ah, oh, okay. Punch buggy, good one. Come on, you guys. We're gonna have so much fun at this convention. I mean, we're gonna play the game, get to know each other better, right, Zabu? Yeah, Midnight Munchkin Madness. Alliterated. Screw that. Let me out. Psychological studies show that rats housed in uncomfortably close proximity become overly aggressive and gnaw each other to death. We may be close. Codex? What the hell is this? Oh, it's nothing, what, really. What, what, what are you guys talking about? I want, I want to be involved in everything that you're talking about. Conference in the South Wing. Now! Oh. That better be a suicide note. I was just... I don't know. What do you think about it? Him and me. Uh. You've gone from hot stud guy to kilted guild leader to Sabu? Your relationship patching system is seriously going in the wrong direction. He is not a downgrade. I mean, look at him. What, what's wrong with him? Ooh, ooh. The license plate came. The winner gets a lesson from me in Fortran. <laughs> and it's gonna smell like burrito, so. Maybe I just want someone who's nice to me for a change. And warlock priest combo is killer, right? Middle Earth to Codex. That's not real life. Well, maybe it can be. Does it hurt to try? Yes. But you knew the convention was happening sometime this year-ish. Why are you acting so surprised? You can't mess with Kevinator. The dude hooked us all up with rooms and tickets. I'm a special guest, remember? With air quotes. That little bastard are probably in my hard-earned, capitalist-funded guild hall. I intend to report him to the heads of the game personally. Before this car stops, I want to play the license plate game. Oh, boy. Polo shirt clad woman. We're here for the festivities. Please let us out. Welcome to the Mega Gamer Ramakan. We're only taking registration tonight. The convention opens tomorrow, but. Excuse me. Hey, Vork, tell her you're chauffeuring a special guest. I think she got that. Oh, wow. A special guest? Are you kidding? Follow me. Yep, already loving this. Hi, I'm the special guest. What kind of VIP treatment is this? Oh my god. I'm sorry. Did I just insult you? Oh, hey, 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 no, Cal calm down. It's okay. You can't know everyone, right? Oh, excuse me. I'm not just everyone. I'm the cheesy pirate kid. I'm a meme. I'm 
sorry. I, I'm sure lots of people are really excited you're attending. I mean, not that I'm not. Oh, well, I think we found someone more neurotic than you, Codex. Uh, yeah, I told you this would be a great weekend. Well, <laughs> are you having spasms or something? Because your face is twitching. Okay, look, we have rooms and badges under the name Finn Smulders, okay? I don't want stalkers showing up to my door offering me their bodies unless they're double decertified. Got it? Have you here for six badges? But as for rooms, we don't provide those to guests. What? 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 Okay, um, Kevinator told me that he'd hooked me and my guildies all up. So you just assumed everything was taken care of under the classification. Hook up? That's how the leads speak. So you don't have any rooms at all? We're homeless. I knew this would happen. Mama! Yo, is that... Oh, it's cheesy internet <laughs> pirate dude! You rock cheesy! <laughs> okay, see? Do you really want to deprive the convention of that? Okay, 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 okay. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 One room. Everything else in town was taken. Sweet. Oh, floor bed. Oh, let's check out the view. <laughs> First person to flatulate sleeps in the hall. Never trust an egomaniacal teenager to plan anything. We arrived at Mega Gamer Omicron, no free rooms, and all the hotels were sold out. Fun twist! The convention worker, Rachel, stopped hyperventilating long enough to discover that another special guest, Don Lufgren, stunt doubles assistant from Beef Soldier 4, canceled last minute, so she snagged his room for us. One room, six people. Unbelievable. I networked all our computers together, thought we could raid, soothe some tempers, maybe grab a little chat time with Zabu, but... Die your sleep, please! That's the last time! Tomorrow we'll look back and laugh. If we survive the night. The only lies! Strategy me at eight! I will take touch on it! Coffee table. Not comfortable. No sleep. <sighs> Convention time? It was so sweet of Zabu to get these t-shirts made with our guild crest on them, right? <laughs> He's so great, isn't he? Yeah, like we need more t-shirts, but sure. Ugh, I hate my morning face. I'm gonna tell him I like him this weekend. Do you think I need a face left after the baby's born? <gasps> Can they do both operations at once? Clara, did you not hear me? I said that I'm going to go after Zabu in a romantic way. What? Why didn't you say anything? Do it now. Worst idea ever. If you think it's a bad idea, why are you so happy about it? Well, because he'll jump all over it. You'll get together for like a week, and then it'll go so wrong, you'll have to end it. But he won't take no for an answer. You'll have to change your name, move. He'll be so devastated, I'll have to talk him off the ledge of a high rise. I'll be in the paper as a suicide whisperer, get invited on Ellen, we'll dance! Clara, <laughs> I need real advice here. Okay, right. Are you hot for him? Enough. Enough? Oh, wrong answer. This is some juicy lady talk I showered into. Ew! Oh. Ew! Gross blades! Oh, cover that up! All right, my opinion. He'll take you, used and all, but a guy's not gonna pass on anything with a lady hole. Oh, uh, can you pass me my mousse, my cologne, spray, vanishing cream, baby oil, and rose water? Oh, uh, what? Forget I said anything. Never. No way. <laughs> I think I need pirate eyeliner. Oh, just a sandwich. My turn. <laughs> Rude! I love you. Breakfast is served. Is that seat taken? Nope. Ah, oh, thanks for the breakfast, Vork. The food was gratis thanks to my ingenuity. Up and down the hallway, people left vast quantities of food right outside their rooms. Look at the breath of bounty I've scavenged. Never say I do not provide for my tribe. Uh, I don't know about used food, dude. Reminder, this room is not free. In order to make it through this horrendous cash trap weekend, we must employ what I'm coining an emergency CDS strategy. <sighs> Can't digest sausage? Curry diarrhea soup. <laughs> uh, koala's drunken. Conserve, divide, scavenge. We must pool our efforts, physical and mental, in order to survive. Okay, so pick up all shotgun shells and first aid packs we come across, and if one of us falls behind, leave them to save yourself. Let's just eat what's in our little kitchenette, you guys. Snacks are yummy. Clara, don't eat from the mini bar. That goes on our room tab. They're not free? Anything but. My fetus made me do it. <laughs> you guys, don't even worry about it, all right? I got this covered. Once I hook up with Kevin Nader, we're gonna smooth it all out VIP style. The Kevin Nader is a scourge of the gaming earth. 
If it turns out there is no presence of the game whatsoever here, I would not be phased. I would prepare a lawsuit and hate crime charges. No worries, dude. The game is right here, booth 451. Oh man, this convention is amazing. They schedule something every hour for three days straight. That's so exciting. What are we gonna do together? Um, yeah, your hair is kind of obscuring Sunday. Thanks, Codex. <laughs> well, we should spend a lot of time in our games booth, right? Guild bonding and all, right? That they have a whole seminar on the physics of crawl. How am I gonna do all this, glaved? I don't know about you guys, but I have one more weekend until I get all huge and bloated with this new baby bump. I'm gonna have as much fun as federal warning labels allow. <laughs> Are you still eating from the mini bar? Oh, nuts. I forgot again. <laughs> nuts. Let's go. And uh, who are you supposed to be, little Bo Peep on X? I am an anime character you wouldn't be aware of because you're an idiot. What about this being a contemptible nerd fest? I grew up in this stupid town. I don't want any losers from my past spotting me, wanting to catch up. Ugh. Better to go incognito. Oh, according to the schedule, I missed the first 10 minutes of Star Wars and macrame. Well, that sounds awesome. Let's all go. Negative. Macrame is the devil's handicraft. Making things? Gross. That's like working, and working is unfun to the max. <sighs> We're not here to have fun, Clara. We have 500 teeth to offload on Spend Happy Nerds. Ugh, is that why you brought those? Businessing? Let's do that tomorrow. Are you kidding? Ugh! Okay, fine. You guys don't want to expand your geek mind? Then I'll go solo. Han soloed. Well, no, I, I mean, I'll totally go with you. Wait! What? Audi 5000. No, 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 wait, I need the guild to be my entourage, to be a buffer from fans and keep me from getting mobbed by podcasters. <gasps> I'm gonna find an artist to draw my head on the body of a unicorn. Clara Corn! Ah! Oh, fine, everyone goes their separate ways. No one spent any time together. Our first official outing is a guild. I don't need your sanction, but you've accurately stated the actuality. Aloha. I didn't mean it. I cannot believe that my guildies jetted off, leaving me. Oh, and Zabu, how more obvious could I be? My vagina was practically in my hand. We need more towels, please. What am I supposed to do, go downstairs alone? I've seen wildlife specials. Cheetahs always go after solo stragglers first. Whatever. I'm gonna go down there and explore the things that I'm interested in. Like, what are those things? What do I like? The game has a booth down there, right? Oh, can I have some more of those little shampoos? Oh, pack it, that's convenient. Oh, uh, excuse me, do you know where the, the uh, okay. Hi, I'm looking for booth 451. Excuse me, baby. Oh! Good. Where do I go, please? Look, I've told you three times already. One per person. I've never been here before. You're weird enough looking to where I remember you. Again and again. It's not for me. It's for uh, my son. Uh, here, uh, Timmy, Habi, Triasis, boy. There you are, my son. Ask the nice man for your hat. He's shy and has several attention deficit disorders. Grayson, why'd you get out of line? Grayson, seriously? Robin's real life name from Batman comics before Bruce's son Damien assumed the role previously known as Nightwing, now known as Batman. Okay, we don't have time to go to the end of the line again. So you can just forget about getting Darth Vader's autograph, okay? He's giving you away autographs? No, $20 each in the autograph area. People foolishly pay celebrities to sign items for them? They also take pictures with you. Pray you become an orphan. Bruce Wayne would never be so fiscally irresponsible. Fork, hey, come with me to the game booth. Absolutely. I was able to obtain 15 complimentary human-sized bags. If Blades can't get the room free, we're now able to manufacture a tent city to avoid hotel expenses. Oh, good idea. How would you like me to visit your house more often? I'm gonna choose option B, not visit at all. Uh, it's just I might be seeing Zabu a lot if things go on planning. Ah, uh, you intend to fling your femininity at him in a copulatory manner. Tread carefully. Letting biology rule is a dangerous thing. Biology's not ruling me. I, what I think I feel for him is real emotion. Codex, Codex. Your woman reaching the end of her fertile cycle. This desperate biological imperative is driving you to seek a genomic legacy. Nothing more. That is ridiculous. Haven't you ever been in love? It's more than just genome. No. Love is nothing more than bastardized biology. Have you not seen March of the Penguins? Okay, I don't care what you or anybody else in the guild says. Zabu is most probably, certainly, almost the man for me. Maybe. Crit! Crit! 
Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Okay, let's ride into battle. Everybody get on your mount. And let's ride into battle. We're riding into battle. We're riding into oh. battle. Hey, dudes. I'm in my workout. <laughs> Calisthenics. Hey, mister, you better start paying attention to the workout. Sorry. You were saying? All right, now we're going to kill all these orcs with a fireball. Yo, I'm looking for Kevinator, his pirate awaits. Arrgh! Arrgh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, Kevin got fired. Uh, messed with too many guild halls, so the player complaints took him down. Oh, oh, but the dude was gonna hook me up. Was he now? You know, he says that to a lot of guys like you. Hey, Floyd. Yeah? We got another Kevinator joke invite. Hey, the pirate kid. Okay, hey, go, say it, say the line. <clears throat> Taste my pirate patty. It's pretty cool. Uh, the big boss over there really loves internet memes, you know. He's been down lately, so I guess Kevin wanted to cheer him up. <laughs> folding shirts and stuff. Uh, okay, so, so wait, um, do you still want me to sign stuff and pose with people and... I mean, you can pay for my hotel room, right? No. Pardon, uh, who am I serenading? Oh, do you know the Double Rainbow song? Oh! Let's like do it. Let's do it, man. It came from the heart. T-shirts, twenty dollars. Baby with the gun. What's not to love? Hey, buy something first. Hello. Remember me? Barely. Okay. Do you have a permit to sell those? Why? I'm sorry, but you have to have a booth or a table to sell things. It's rules and all. I'm a girl. Rules and geek don't apply to us, right? No. I'm gonna have to ask you to, um, pack up. <laughs> Make me, squirrel. Stormtroopers, whatever. Free photo, free photo. You? Thank you, very good. Okay. Come on, completely free. You're, yours. Uh, can I sign your face? Why are you in the game booth? Are you a special guest? Stupid Kevin Hitter screwed me over. I'm nothing but a punchline for him. And get this, he was fired before the convention. So I can't even yell at him now. Someone drank my sweet juice glass of justice? They must rehire him so I can have him refired. I demand it. I can't believe they. <gasps> Ooh, free play spot. Hey, I will sign this for you totally free. Blade, you have no appeal to anyone with your signature, your picture. Your currency is being a fool and you're worth less than a dollar. But I said I would take care of the room situation. How am I gonna pay? Great value where there is none. Something Mrs. Zabu told me. Blades, go upstairs and retrieve your laptop. Does your phone do video? Etc. 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 I just had a dozen dollars idea. Clara, where are you going? I'm leaving. This whole stupid being pregnant thing is the anti-fun. They won't let me do the convention zip line. Breakfast martinis are totally out. And five people have asked me, when is the baby due? This place is awful. So what, you're gonna walk home? Well, I didn't think it through that far. Forget fun. Help me offload these teas. Gotta find a booth that will let us sell them using their permit. When you wipe, get back up again. I guess. Fun me wanted, though. Sad. And when you pop that kid out of the Dutch oven, we could do a girl's week kind of way. Agree, now I'm not offering more. Okay, sounds great. You're like my sister from another brother-in-law. Huh? I love you. Whatever. Give me a hug. Sorry, panel's full. But, but I gotta be a part of this. I mean, inter interpreting Middle Earth topography with vegetable arts? I was gonna make broccoli ants. Most panels, you're gonna wait in line for an hour, sometimes two, so I gotta do six in 98. Yeah, but, but maybe I can just stand in the back or something? You can't. Can, can you just we keep the door open and I'll watch it for me? The whole point of the doors is that they shut. I just came from the MMO workout, okay? I just, uh, how can you do both panels at once? I mean, it's ridiculous. Socks and sandals, DTP, buddy. I do not know what DTP means. It defeats the purpose. It's like wearing a t-shirt under a bikini. All right, I'm sorry. There's a lot of things that you can improve on. Must have it all. Must have it all! Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Stop looking at me. That was a demo. Great changes, huh? No. They nerfed Rising Face. Are they smoking crack crazy? Well, you know, a lot of us worked really hard to get this demo ready for the con. You know, I haven't 
slept in a week, personally, getting it ready for everybody to enjoy. Well, these changes are moronic. I mean, they get rid of Gleaming Cross, but keep Aurora's Veil? Well, you know, the uh, creator oversaw all these changes personally. Without Gleaming Cross, these warlocks are going to eat our lunch at PvP. They throw out this new Demon's Voice ability, boom, one shot. The creator needs a reality check. Seriously? I mean, hundreds of us worked for, like, millions of hours to get this ready for the con, and then you, you spend two minutes on it, and you start to tear it apart. Do you ever think before you type stuff and criticize or say things? I can't believe I'm getting trolled to my own face. Why don't you create an imaginary world? It'd probably be like Fresno or something. Screw this. I need a kale smoothie. Wow. You just tore a new a-hole into Floyd Petrowski, creator of our game. Bravo. Time warp spell? Work? Please? Good thing I only had two bites of pre-owned frittata this morning. I can't believe I insulted Floyd Petrovsky. Two gamers? He is the Etoch Perlman of violinists, the Oprah of middle-aged women, the whoever of surfing and or golf. Floyd Petrovsky embedded the MMO in his dad's basement at 16. He is the guru epic drop of RPGs, and I called his ideas moronic to his face. Today? I created the anxiety dream that will haunt me for the rest of my life. Except, my brain will make it worse, so I'll be insulting him while naked, falling off a cliff, holding a dead kitten. Oh. Mmm. Ugh, frittata. Can the pirate put me in a headlock with a pro wrestling background and say to the plank with ye, matey? Five extra liability dollars. All right, roll up, buddy, let's do this. What's your name? Uh, All right, let's go. The to the plank with you, man. Who is that kid? Uh, some internet pirate. This viral video stuff's just a fad. Thank you so much. Take care. Great. That was great, man. Have a good time. Money well spent. Uh, oh, well, looky who it is. Uh, you in the wrong special guest line? Because I believe the fifth vampire corpse from Twilight is in the opposite corner, yo. I finally caught up on your body of work. Blown away. How did you invent this character? What inspired you? How could I have missed your genius? Okay, well, now you're asking the right questions. Well, when I was four, Blades! I... Next fan wants you to swim with him in the underwater kingdom of the Snorks. Okay, uh, Rachel, is it? That's right. Uh, how about you and your homies meet this part in the lobby tonight? We'll uh, catch a soda and discuss my process. We have a raid tonight. Fornicate at a later date. <laughs> tomorrow? Okay. Lobby, seven. Tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Blades got droopies. Oh, and then I said, creator guy needs a reality check to the creator. And then it's just, oh, these cookies are really good, thanks. Don't thank me, thank my genre recipes class. Those cookies from episode seven, season three of Battlestar. They got fracadamia nuts. Well, thanks for rushing over. I'm glad I caught your message. I had to switch to a group texting app just to keep up. Modern living. Why are you popular? Who's texting you? Like everyone at the convention. You know how you can't get into any panels because the lines are so long? But you can save a seat. So I started pulling people's numbers and I created a network of fans who save each other's seats for them. All you gotta do is snag an extra seat and text the network and then boom! And the guy at the other end is like, oh hey, my friend says there's a seat in row X, no waiting. I call it Seat Savers, the buddy system for making new friendships and watching your favorite panels, Organization Inc. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Uh, I mean, the name really doesn't work. Right. Yeah, but cool concept. It's a good thing you're my favorites because your message went right to the top. Pretty cool. I mean your favorites? Wow. Yeah, obvious. Well, next panel starts in 10. Gotta fly. Wait. Let's do this. Together. You wanna go to Hot Girls from Other Worlds? No, no, I mean, um... Uh, I... I think I like you. In a, you know, kind of way. <laughs> Skink badger. Aren't you a little short for a slave Leia? Mine's homemade. I love booth hopping, and everyone takes charge cards. You spend more money on these bracelets than we'll ever earn on these t-shirts, and still no one will help us sell our stuff. Showing all this skin for nothing. Well, it really doesn't make sense for these vendors to cut in a middleman tank. Narrow profit margin barely covers their booth rental and travel cost. So they'd have to charge 90% of our wholesale to justify a partnership. <gasps> Shiny! Wait, you sounded smart for a minute. Okay, I'm feeling a little light lightheaded. 
wh why now? What, what changed? Why do people keep asking that? Do I need a reason? I mean, do, do people analyze how magnets work? Yes, in physics class, like all the time. Well, that's just stupid. I mean, sometimes you just have to go with things and not think about them. Just really go, I, I don't know. Do you like sports games? Sports games? Yeah, like, like, no, ew. Say you got a free one and it's just sitting there and like you're super bored. I mean, I guess I might try it. But you'd but... probably hate it. And now it's used, and the resale value is totally blown. <laughs> think about how the game might feel. Well, I mean, the economics are pretty clear, but I don't think a game feels... Oh, this is an analogy. Look, I worked really hard to become your friend. And now that I know you, I, I like you as a friend. But when I meet that special someone, I want lightning to strike on both ends. Yeah, yeah but are you sure nothing is striking here? Um, is it a crit for you? Or is it just a chain lightning spell that does zero damage because of your emotional resist armor? I guess your stats are right. I'm sorry. Okay, let's not let it be awkward, oh, okay? Too late. You've already gutted the creator of our game. And, oh, there he goes right now. Stab me in the heart. Oh, okay, dead kittens, dead kittens, dead kittens. Go, talk to him. I mean, apologize to his face. What? No, but then he'll reject me like you just did, and then I want to vomit, and then, okay. Can you come with me? I can't. Duty calls, you know, for the seat savers. The buddy system for making new friendships. Okay. And going okay, to... Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, Bye. All right. Go get them. What is this strange stuff? I've never seen anything like it. If you don't know, you should probably move on. It's steampunk. The year of trash of nerddom. Oh, Princess Leia. How original. Can we sell our shirts at your booth? We're desperate. Whatever cut you want, you can have. Clara, where do the smart words go? I'm sorry, but do those look like they match our color palette? I don't know what that means. <laughs> the answer is no. Would you like to purchase something, if not kindly clear the aisle? Thank you. But I want to know what those goggle things are. They're called goggles. <gasps> Neat! Do you guys have baby clothes? A gas mask, perhaps? <laughs> Come on, Clara, let's go. Oh, but I want to know more about the clocky, windy stuff. It's not going to help. Oh, my God. Emergency bail alert. Uh, pardon? Uh, yeah. huh. You know, I really tried to get excited about this demo, but no one is responding. The fans think the changes are moronic. Maybe they're right. We could, we could take a new angle on the force powers. We could tweak the party mechanics. Do you know that Soundgarden is now an oldies band? No matter what you do, you're gonna be dogged for it. Cash out, man. <sighs> Move on. Don't worry about your baby. RTX promise. Okay. You know what? Maybe it's time. Huzzah! To the kingdom! Drop the paperwork! Okay, eavesdrapolation, Floyd is gonna sell our game. That guy he was with, his name was Chet Grumwald. I clocked his badge. Yes, I used the word clocked. I've been watching a lot of detective shows lately. Anyway, I looked him up and he works for RTX, the in game big bad of corporate gaming. RTX takes indie games and sucks them up and then spits them out with marketing and glossy graphics and, and they put the characters on fast food cups and, and just, ew. And Floyd looked so down and depressed. And I'm sure he was referring to me with that moron's comment. Man, I'm such a perp. Hey, Codex, you and Zabu do it yet? <gasps> OMG, did you? Did you do it here? <gasps> what about on the table? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that, too. I'm not being histrionic. Drop the paperwork. What else could that mean? Strength buff. In a daytime syndicated court of law, I don't think speculation of a sort would be admissible evidence. Take down the orcs, Clara. Use Frost. Well, they could have been talking about anything. Like maybe he ordered a bride from the Baltics. <gasps> Popsicle baddies incoming. No, it was definitely businessy. The suit guy, he works for RTX. He stood out at the con like Darth Vader at a baby shower. Uh, blades, you're drawing aggro, shielding. Who cares if he sells the game? It's been around five years. No one's going to screw with it. Study shot on the shaman. Crap. Down. Yeah, and big companies are fine. Like, what harm have they ever done except for being big? Down. More ignorant statement I've never heard. Remind me to lend you Atlas Shrug. Codex heals! What if they shut down the game? Guys, we just wiped like you don't even care. 
Dabu! All right, all right. Master Chiefs, we'll reconvene in 2100 hours. What's the deal with your helmet friends? <gasps> Did they bring snacks? Ah, my Seed Savers organization has gotten so big that I've had to recruit help just to run it. I found those guys sneaking in an old lady into a Malcolm McDowell look-like contest. Good peeps. Are you forming a cabal? That interests me. I don't know what that means. But I did rework my schedule so I could fit in 48 screenings and panels just this weekend. Just gotta stay up to do it all. First up, Fable. Tickle your way to the monarchy. So, where are we? Failstone Gulch? Let's do this, I got 14 minutes. 14 minutes? We have another hour to raid. I'm overbooked this weekend. That's why I got the Master Chief assistance. I cannot believe you. The guild is more important than your stupid butt warmer group. Are you trying to tear us apart? Overdramatic. Say, Codex, why would you be into him? They just need to do it already. I'll watch. Wait, you told him about our thing? Everyone. She's quasi semi partially attracted to you. It's a genetic fool's errand. Are you guys gonna have babies? No, no, it's just, we, I don't wanna talk about it. We agreed it wasn't gonna work. Dead ended. So you guys kissed to make sure I was okay? Well, there's only one way to find out. You gotta download the demo to make sure. No, clear this does not feel right. Yeah, I just don't. Oh. Oh. oh! At least she didn't throw us into a closet. That would have been a weird analogy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay, so we're uh, here. Uh, well, maybe we don't have to do this at all. You know, we can just kind of like pretend. That no, we're no, no. I, I think we should try it out. I mean, you know, definitively decide one way or another, right? Cool. I'm game. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should do like a countdown. Oh, good idea. Okay. All right. Three, one, two. two. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go from. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. One, Three, two. two. All right. Okay. Three, two. It's not good. I'm gonna stop kissing you now. Yeah, please do. Okay. It was... I mean, it wasn't horrible, it just was... It just was like cardboard yeah, a little it bit. Wasn't, I, and... Friends. Yeah. We're friends. Okay. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that's it, right? Hey, remember that time we got shoved into the bathroom and then I, we totally started making out, like hardcore, and it was... Too soon? Too soon. Okay. So it didn't work out. Zab and I are definitely not compatible. I mean, he was super... Hello? What are you guys looking at? Oh, Vork here taught us into the fancy celebrity autograph area. Currently watching the fruits of our labor. Oh, this crap's paying for your room rental, by the way. People actually pay you to sign stuff? <laughs> Better. Check this out. Oh, we're fighting! Ah, oh, I mean pistol whip. We're so strong. We're on the moon, man. Oh, you're friendly. For a small fee, cheesy pirate kid will debase himself in a video of your whim. Me mind demand at your service. You're whoring yourself out for money. Hey, if the name fits, I'll wear it. Guys, we got to figure out what's going on with the game. Does anyone want to take time out of their busy schedule tomorrow and adventure game this out with me? I'll go with you, Codex. I have to go pick up those box of shirts Claire and I left at that snotty steampunk booth, too. Oh, no, no! Let me get the shirts. I want to help with our business. Just want to go stare at that clockwork stuff again. I know, you guys. So there's this new thing that I'm totally into. There's clock pieces and brown and shiny bits and top hats and corsets. It's like my new favorite thing. I'm going to go to the booth, get our shirts, and me and the pretty girl are going to become best friends. That's great. Awesome. Uh, that's really Posted interesting. That. Yeah. How can you guys be calm about this? I mean, we're talking about our game's existence. What else do I have? I mean, I'm unemployed. Clearly, my personal life is a disaster. And I'm just, I don't yeah, understand what... Speculations. Did you guys kiss already? I forgot to notice. Guys, guys, the game stuff can wait, okay? This con is basically the epitome of living life. Must stay up. Ginseng. Mm. Oh. oh, hey. Anyone want to go to a superhero party with me for 36 minutes? One of the bouncers is on my seat savers list. Oh, yeah, please. Hell yeah. Oh, Blades, please don't go. Absolutely not. I'm not going to go just to watch you guys having raving and boozing and all-night pill-popping fun. I'm going to stay here and eat room snacks. No, you will not. We cannot party. The very fabric of our social existence is threatened. I mean, it, come on. Ah! Geek out. Stay online for 20 hours. Geek out. Make a brand new superpower. I can't Geek believe they parted me. Don't they know who I am? Dude, I gotta go to like 10 more parties tonight. <sighs> so exhausted. I need an energy drink. <laughs> 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 
stuff. Master Chief, clear path. Oh, hey, Dane. Drunk isn't helping me. My life is just really empty, you know? And what am I gonna do without the game? <laughs> Loneliness. Codex, take everything so seriously. I mean, just... Uh, pretend to kiss me. Okay. Oh, pretend, you perv. What? What are you hiding from? Oh, the pretty girls? I really like your eyelashes. Mm, okay, yes, the blonde chicks. Can't let them see me. Why? They're my sisters. What the heck happened last night? My eyes are super puffy underneath. Probably from the drinking and crying combo. I vaguely remember Tink's face being like, this close to me, super smooth skin. And then I think, oh, I can't be right. I am so confused. Bottom line, this trip is giving me perspective, but it is not the good kind. I have no idea how to steer my life. Why I keep grasping for things that are not good for me, like like Fox and Zabu and, and, and the game. And oh, why am I so out of control right now? Why can't I just be normal? And why are Tink's sisters white? What's up with that? God, you guys look so amazing together. <laughs> Oi, spot a tea with your mateys. You'll notice the rope. We are having tea. Please return later. Oh, but Tink and I left our t-shirts here yesterday. Oh, yes. Gerald. Alina. Feel your love. Extract her dry goods from under the sideboard. I quarantined them because the synthetic fabric choice was absolutely ghastly. Right, right. You know, to be honest, I would have come back anyways. I think your booth is just the coolest. How can I join your club? Called it a club, did she? Cheeky. We are not a club, dear. We are aficionados of the steampunk genre. Oh, well, whatever it is, I want to be a member. Steampunk is not a whim, girl. It's a way of life. It is a vast wardrobe commitment. Oh, I have commitment. I'll buy whatever. The husband never sees the credit card statements. I have the kids hide them. It's a game. Look, I had a crummy time until you guys got here. It would just make my con. Pretty, pretty, please. You're giving me <laughs> ennui. <laughs> Uh, the bathroom's that way. Oh, you're so strong. Come here, let me just, let me just get this. Yeah, you're so cute. My thanks. Lizette. Gerald. We could use a fourth for the costume contest. Losing Pete to that steam-powered pogo stick incident was bad luck all round. That is no Pete. <laughs> Our reputation must be maintained. As costume champions for two years straight, we have standards to uphold, to train her in but a day's time. Can you wear corset? Uh, well, it may squeeze my baby's head into a weird shape, but it'll pop back. Sure, sew me up. All right, tell Hacky Sack 45 that there are no openings available in Vampire Anatomy panel, but we can get him a slot in Kevin Smith on Kevin Smith, hosted by Kevin Smith at 3 p.m. Oh, and uh, put out an all points for global warming on Thundera, an inconvenient tooth. We need a seat there. One of our elite members is offering a handshake with Jewel State in exchange. <laughs> Probably could upgrade that to a hug if necessary, but let's keep that as negotiating capital, all right? Thank you, non-stranger Maid Marion. I got a seat for you in Science of the Supernaturals right after this. Thank thee. I've been up for 48 hours straight. And yet the method is still holding. <laughs> uh, dude, that's my seat, so. I am sitting in it. Right, but she was saving it for me, so. I waited in line, it's legit, it's mine. Move now. Make me. Boss, don't let him break the seat savers. Indeed. Master Chiefs, lend a gauntlet. Oh, look at that, rubber girl, first edition, eh? Handle that gently. They won't. Oh, right, fine, I'm leaving. Pox on you! <laughs> I already got chicken pox once, so I can't get it again. <laughs> You are so creepy! 
So, did you, you know... I warned you upstairs. Don't bring last night up. I was going to ask you, did you make your costume yourself? No. Someone's selling a replica of me. Total coincidence. Well, it looks nice. About last night... I told you, don't bring it up. I, I just want to know because I don't really remember what happened. I mean, was there skin to skin? Cheek skin, yes. Lip skin, no. Okay, good. I mean, Angelina Jolie is one of my five. You know, people you can have sex with even if you're in a relationship. But I consider her the exception. I don't really... Why are your sisters white? You can't help yourself, can you? How about you go and do something interesting with your own life so that we'd be remotely interested in snooping in your business? If I could do that, it would be on the agenda. Believe me, I'm sorry. So we're shooting a commercial, and she just wants a line. And some people ask me, what is a pirate patty? Fine. And you know Wait. I... There's another individual claiming to be somebody who wants to cut line and speak to you, and he won't pay for a video. Hi. Holy crap! Pork, do you know who this is? Okay, I'm blown away. I mean, how did you invent your character? What inspired you? How did I miss your genius? Calm down. I'm just a guy doing the same thing you're doing. Hmm. It's half the business. That's... So I am really impressed with your operation. Oh, yeah, I mean, the whole video thing is mostly Vork's idea, but I bring the artistry, so it's this killer combo. Yeah, well, it works. It's great. It's a Vork, is it? Is there a story behind that name? Not for you. So I was wondering if maybe I could take you guys out to lunch. You know, just talk a little internet strategy. I really want to get in on the, the, the mind of today's youth, or the mean... Lex Luthor behind that youth. <laughs> Lunch with you? Oh my god, that would be... Untenable. We have a full schedule now. Move along. We have paying customers waiting. Alrighty then. I took out the whirling blades from the playtest because it was ineffectual against the warlocks. Hi, Floyd. Yes, I know who you are now. Um, I just wanted to apologize for what I said yesterday. It was rude and it was uh, mortifying. Well, for me, actually. You know what? It's fine. You were right. We're going to put the gleaming cross back in. It's going to be in the next play test. Oh. So. Well, that's great. Thanks. Are you really going to sell the game? Hey, come on. This <gasps> way. Look, I, I can tell from your snarky attitude that you probably play my game a lot. That would be accurate. And that's why I'm begging you, please, don't sell. My, my doctor says my cholesterol is so high that my veins are like gummy worm solid. I gotta change my lifestyle, you know? I think it's time for me to cash out, walk away, let them forget about me, you know what I mean? I mean, the game will be fine. It'll be better. They might ruin it. But I mean, no, they'll be good. it'll be all right. What about your fans? I mean, this game, th this game is my life. It's not real. Wow. You're right. Tink is right too. I need to get a life. You're gonna quit? Maybe it's time for me to quit too. Aw, oh, yeah. You were right about the gleaming cross. That's back in. They, they'll probably take that out though. Fork! That's like the fifth celebrity you've blown off today. I, I want to hang out with them to say that I hung out with them. Stop driving them away. Blades, fame is not something to, to court or aspire to. It creates a modern day class system. These people live in a world of false perfection, create images that everybody wants and no one can attain. I can't think of anything admirable about someone like an actor who, who gets bust to work, given lines to parrot, having their every whim cared. Charity Mannix from Time Rings. Sweet Cha 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 Josephette. Big decisions, big life decisions. The past few years, well, you've heard me whine, you know they haven't been great. Finding the game and the guild was a lifesaver for me. It was a safe place where I didn't feel like collapsing all the time. But lately, I just, I've been drifting. And uh, if I quit the game, will the guildies be my friends anymore? Was Floyd right? Were they even real to begin with? <laughs> Without Codex, who am I? <laughs> That's what I have to find out. <laughs> I hate being an adult. I'm hungry. I might order room service. Why is room service so expensive? <laughs> Whatever. 
too many people are mistaking me for the Asian girl from any show. I'm gonna change. I'll be out of here quick. What next? I made all these myself. Are you kidding? Pretty good for a pre-med major, right? Yeah. I'm not pre-med anymore. I've been getting a costume design degree for the last five semesters. Wow. Yeah. But catch. My parents have been paying for a pre-med degree for two years. They have no idea I switched majors. Why don't you tell them? I'm adopted. I can't be the screw up that's like a bad indie film. Oh, you're adopted. That's why you have white sisters. I thought there were a lot of other options. They were so excited that I was going to be a doctor. Don't want to disappoint. So, every time I get a text message asking, does this mole look cancerous, dear? I have to press the ignore button. That's why I was avoiding Lara and Tara last night. Check out my Gaga. Glamorous. Lara and Tara? Twins that rhyme? Ew. Yeah, ridiculous. Oh, nice Chen Li. You should tell them. I mean, hard decisions are hard to decide, but they make you feel better after, kind of. Are you kidding? I've been basically stealing from them. No thanks. Lying and avoidance is better. I didn't mean to tell you to get a life earlier. No, no, you're right. I need to live life less sadly. I just don't know what that is. Uh, hey, Bork, buddy, you're filming the wrong thing. Madge is happening here. Dude, your gaze on from Miss Milf over there is hard as a coconut. Madeline Twain was and is a goddess of the small screen. She played the intrepid assistant Charity Mannix to Chuck Boswell's professor in the seminal sci-fi adventure series Time Rings, 1992-1997. So, before even my mom's time. I was the head of her mail order fan club to consume my early 20s. Then she betrayed us all and quit. Her departure was so abrupt, it couldn't compensate, canon-wise. Her character, Charity, was simply abandoned in a Roman era episode, never to be referred to again. Time Rings was canceled half a season after. Curse you, Madeline Twain. Uh, so you hate her. Uh, why are you trembling? She is still so beautiful. Okay. Oh, freeze. Freeze, boy! Look, Sandman finished 14 years ago. These kids have no idea who I am. The convention's given me the biggest room in the place. This is gonna be embarrassing. Your Seat Savers Network is my only hope. Sure, 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 you know. Your stuff's okay if you like universally acclaimed awesome graphic novels and such, but uh, I don't know. You know, a few million Twitter followers is not gonna get Mega Gamer Ramacon excited about a writer. <laughs> Look, Sandman Zero's coming out next year. I'll get you a signed set. Personally signed to you. To exploit the network for a panel? Gotta run, so much to do, so much to see, so many things going on. You know? I'll put you in the comic. Cover. And give me muscles. It's not that kind of a comic. Make it that kind of comic. Okay, maybe like special thanks or something? Yeah, we can do that. 2 p.m. tomorrow, room 5A? 2 p.m. tomorrow, room 5A. I'll load the network. Just this once. Look, I'm, I'm really grateful. I, thank you so much. It's a new convention, comic man. And the seat savers rule it. Spread the word. Quiet like. Hey, don't, don't do that. Sorry, no gaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Setsy. My handler would love to meet you. Where are the guys in the popular corner? Blades, stupid pirate. Oh, you boys are so busy. I mean, the enthusiasm of the fans is admirable. One can't help but miss being that popular. Oh, well, it's not that hard. And y you know what? I think Vork could hook you up in return for a little FaceTime. You know what I mean, Chitty? Hey, Malin, good to see you again. Hey, Hi. guys. Tell me how this uh, Twitter thing works, and how is it good for me? Ugh. <laughs> Can I get a photo with you for my face? My gay aunt will flip. My face? Know what that is. <laughs> that a woman on there once? Definitely not your aunt. <laughs> Could be. Uh, why don't you guys come hang with us tonight? Um, did you mean us? Like, other faces I recognize and 
hang out, like talking and, and coolness. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would love to learn about this new technology frontier, and you guys are the experts. Vork won't go. He's not impressed by the puppet people. No offense, guys. Oh, Madeline there, me together, same room, lady. Oh, 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 oh. Uh... Might be a yes. Sounds great. Yeah. Suite 304 at the Western across the street, 7 p.m. Okay, well, um, let's go back to work, Runner. Get uh, you wiped off, and we'll see you guys tonight. Uh, did it, did it, did it. Sounds like a woodpecker. <gasps> I said wood. And pecker. The talent there. Mm. And she cannot mix a proper laudanum either. Disastrous. And her chloroform. Ineffective. No response on the Ouija board. And because of the pregnancy, opium and absinthe sipping are out. It is a right shame, but you are absolutely unqualified in any of the posier fields. Don't do for a costume contest. Simply will not do. We must create a respectable mise en scene. Understand? Um, how difficult can it be? Get a costume, act all snooty, done in time. <laughs> Are you trying to undermine our faith? Steampunk is a unique look and lifestyle, and it. <gasps> Lena. <laughs> Your stays. Your stays! Steampunk is steampunk, describable only by the word itself. Oh. Oh, thank you, darling. I owe you a tonic at dinner. I'm sorry, dear, though your efforts are admirable. If you don't get it, you simply can't be a part of it. Like I was saying, I've been disillusioned about the game and the guild but you're confiding in me upstairs. It really meant a lot as a friend. So I wanted to do something for you, not about me. You know, walking greeting card much? Yeah. <laughs> April Lou! <laughs> We're so excited to see you! <laughs> oh, look at you as pretty as ever. <laughs> April Lou? I take it back. You're not okay. You are dead. <laughs> Tink's name is April Lou? That was super weird to hear. So what spurred me to be a rascally meddler and invite Tink's family, who I just discovered the existence of, to a buffet-style intervention? This weekend has been crisis after crisis for me. The guild scattered, the game threatened. My first impulse was to just abandon everything and run away. But I realized after talking to April Lou that my connection to my guildies is more than the game. We are friends, and I wanted to reach out humanly to prove to myself that, wait a second, this was all about me? So much for the profound feel-good speech part. Ugh, April Lou. That's <laughs> stupid. Ugh, Zabu! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see someone I know. This has been the worst day ever. Uh, well, that's life. And that's the con, and con is life, and life is con, con life. Con. Everyone in the guild was having fun without me, and I was sad. But then I found those steampunkers, and I was happy. It's good, it's good, 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 good. But I couldn't pass their test, and now they don't want me, and I'm sad again, because I really want to be part of their whatever it is so bad. I'll never give in! Tell your goons to back off, little man. All we need is the whole front row to your panel talks with hunky legends. Don't make me tell my guys to punch lower. Oh, <laughs> like that's gonna hurt. I'm half god from the waist down. Hold up. What is, what's going on? Oh, we're just having a friendly little negotiation with Kevin Sorbo for the seat savers. No problem. No big deal. He's just a brawny, elegant, buff bastard. But he'll bleed just like the rest of them. Won't you, hero? Oh, no, 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 not the fine chisel jaw. Unchisel it. When was the last time you slept? Sleep? I don't need sleep. <laughs> like 50, 100 hours ago. Hmm. <sighs> That's the stuff. <laughs> Call off your robots. Zabu, now. Don't make me get out my mom voice. Uh, but, uh, okay. Master Chiefs, pull the plug. Pull the plug, he said! If I had my gauntlets on, and my 12-pound leather pants that I did all of my own stunts in, 
and Michael Hurst, who played my amazing sidekick, Eolus. Yeah, oh, he's the best. You'd be toast. <laughs> totally, totally wrecked my jersey. I got this at the Sundance Film Festival. Now you wrecked it. Wrecked it! Keep walking, Hercules. Keep walking. Okay. You're coming with me. It's time yeah. for bed. Oh, hey, let go. back. Back. Let go. I gotta run a secret to society. Honey. You've been in town all weekend and didn't call. Oh, now don't nag her. Here, have some of my famous yaki soba. <laughs> I didn't want her to miss out on her people's heritage, so I just put my own spin on one of their native dishes. It's a little uh, ranch dressing and ham cubes. Ham. <laughs> Go on, you love it. That looks delicious. Um, so, Tink, April Loose, uh, would you like to tell Edith and John if I... Ah! No. <laughs> Oh my god, this place is so high class. You know, I bet they do not have any floor beds. Please be cool, man, be cool. <laughs> Charity. Madeline. Of course. Well, fancy seeing you here. I never expected those words to leave your mouth towards my face. Well, they have. I hear it that. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I think it's time to find my rightful place in the Hollywood elite. You know, get some uh, famous celebrity time. Ciao. Hey guys. Oh, whoa, hey man, how you doing? Nice movie face. All right, cool, check you later, man. Oh my God, no way, you. Touchdown, right? High five. Okay. Ah, oh, Clara, no. I need to be so many other places. My Morse code may suck, but whiny babies I can handle. Arms up. Claire, I've been a bad boy here. Did so many bad, bad things. It wasn't your fault. It was the coffee and robots that made you do it. No, robots. Master Chief's good, me evil. Oh, they're there. Let me sing you a lullaby like I do my kids. Mm. My humps, my humps, my lovely lady lumps. Oh, my empire weighs so heavy on my soul. Oh, we'll make it better in the morning. Oh. Can you sing me a lullaby? Sure. Boom, there it is, boom, there it is. Boom, shaka, waka, shaka, waka, shaka, boom. Get some every time. Poop, poop. It's good to see you. Yo, dude, look at this junk. I mean, we deserve caviar and crab, right? No way, these crackers are my favorite. I buy them in bulk. <laughs> no, get out, dog. I mean, famous people don't buy in bulk. Yeah, we do. You want to see my discount card? Hey, buddy. So, well, uh, where are you and I heading off to after the convention? A bikini Ladyville? The Club Tacit Land? Maybe. Actually, I, I got a uh, leak in my roof, so I gotta go to the depot and get a tarp. Just put in this this sort of. Hey, I'm uh, sorry. I can't hear you over all the lame. What do you guys got in there? Your grain alcohol? I'll put you sign me up, and we'll get this party started. Oh yeah! Actually, it's veggie juice. You know, celery, carrots, spirulina. How is that a party drink? Party for our colons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, then we're going on a charity retreat. It's um, it's a summit about homeless youth. So that's just another way to say going to rehab, right? Um, yeah. Hey, come on, you two. Let's get this party started. Uh, uh, uh. I got a touch of sciatica. Recent breast reduction. That's us at the doggy park. Look at that smile. I'm telling you. This is us in Maui. <laughs> Love surfing. Love yeah. surfing. Oh, this is a new collar. I just got him. Okay, so we're not hot tubbing with stanky chicks later? And, well, I don't. I mean, I usually turn in around nine. And hot tubs give me eczema, skin condition. You people are effing boring! Hey, sweet collar. Hey, thanks. Yeah. I just picked it up. Oh, do you do pets without borders? Seriously! A buddy of mine in security, he got us to pass us to this whatever this is. Personally, I don't have any use for all this experimental comics and gaming. And, Devil spawn. But uh, Lara and Tara, they wanted to see the parade of weirdos. <laughs> wow, what a lot of freaks. Okay, well, 
It's been great catching up. Uh, so, Lara and Tara, um, did you go to high school with April Lou here? <laughs> yeah, we were in Glee Club together. Ooh, April, let's do that debarge harmony that we do so well. Me. Me. Time to go. Dead walking, AKA Codex. No, oh, I'd rather stay here and learn more about you, <laughs> friend. Real smart mouth on her. A lot of sass. Always loved that about my little girl. Once, she slashed the principal's tires because he took jello salad off of the cafeteria menu. And once, she firebombed the janitor's closet because she got her boyfriend making out with another girl in there. I hate you so much. And once, not pre-med anymore. For five semesters, I've been studying something else. I didn't tell you because I didn't. Happy Codex? Uh-oh. What are you studying now? Fashion design. That thing you're wearing, did you design that? Yes. Sure is pretty. It's beautiful. Are you a turtle? <laughs> My baby's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? No rage, no screaming, not gonna have me arrested? I've been staying up every night for months dreading this and you're totally cool with it? Totally cool? <laughs> I just have one requirement, honey. You gotta design Lara's wedding dress. Dad <laughs> proposed to me! <laughs> Ridiculous! How did I survive childhood? People are unreal. She used to always stomp off like that when she was a little girl. <laughs> That's just more Salisbury sushi for us! Well, I, I don't want to be a bird. I insist. I can do a WordPress install, design a scalable logo based on your Linux profile. You'll have a custom blog in a week. Oh, I appreciate that so much. I, I really do feel like I, I have something to share. I'll get photos and bios to you by tomorrow. Well, I think Bork already has most of that stuff, right? I mean, you were the head of her fan club in the 1890s. 1990s, and yes, your talent is immeasurable. That is so lovely to hear. When I quit Time Rings, I lost a lot of support. Those were hard times. Your betrayal was monumental, but you can do nothing but move on. Well, I don't think of it as a betrayal. It was merely a, a job I quit. Time Rings wasn't a job to the fans. It was a religion. When I watched you disembark the Brave Hunt Time Vessel, season two, episode 16, knowing you would never again grace the vehicle or the Thursday 8 p.m. time slot, I sobbed for weeks like a baby. Oh, okay, well, Vork, look at the pretty lady's nice hair. Yes, her hair's extraordinary, the color of espresso and rich Belgian chocolate. In the middle of a season, to abandon your character charity at the height for conflicted feelings about the professor? Okay. I'm off this train wreck. That storyline was going nowhere. I mean, Charity was a, a prop for the writer to hang his sick fantasies on. Sick fantasies? Is that what you call Imagine That? That seminal episode of television, season one, episode 14, that dealt with the issue of mixed race couples far before its time? If you call mixed race an alien gangbang. The Levanta made it in groups with probes. It was their way. Pardon me, I have found a headache. I am entitled to my opinion, and we haven't finished talking about your blog yet! Oh, dog, dog, Jesus, dog, dog, dog! So, uh, why are you guys famous? Oh, hey, Madeline. Hey! We've been downstairs for an hour. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm just busy as a bee up here, hanging out with some people you might recognize. Hey, guys! <laughs> awesome! Oh my god, you're partying with him? What a playboy, right? As long as you catch him before 9 p.m. You said you'd hang with us tonight. Can we come in? Oh, oh invite only, Chitty. Really sorry, but I kind of got a better deal here, so I'm gonna have to see you in line tomorrow. But you look great. I love seeing you guys. Big, happy, fresh faces. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh my god, no wonder celebrities have reality shows. Drama! I can't sleep. Tink hasn't said a word to me since we met up with her family earlier. She came in late, went straight to bed. Or so she's pretending to. I'm too nervous to close my eyes. Pillow over the face risk and all. Yeah. And Sabo's been comatose since I got in. He's been farting what smells like espresso, so ew. Everybody's been acting so weird. Tomorrow's the last day of the con, but it can't be the last day with my guildies. I mean, we're real friends, but clearly we need a game to hold us together. So tomorrow, plotting. I think I'm gonna go sleep in the bathtub. I can 
lock the door. Tink! Tink! I'll forget about everything. Your name, your family, everything. Just please don't hate me. God, it looked so, so good last night. It was like the biggest relief ever. I owe you one, stupid. Oh, so we're, we're cool? Awesome. Listen, even though our game's about to disappear, I still want to be friends with you. They're not going to shut it down. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I've been hallucinating about everything I've seen and heard this weekend. But today, you and I are going to find out one way or another. Ah! Oh. 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 Whoa. Wish I would have known that before I kicked. Would have done it harder. You? You have been stalking me all weekend? Why? Your appearance at this convention uh, had a touch of kismet to it. Oh, so you were alone, saw somebody you knew, but you couldn't even say hi like a real person. Nice, hit him with insight. The Axis broke up through no fault of my own. I thought you might be interested in a new guild leader, one who does not smell of mothballs. Replacing Vork? Let me give that a second. No, no, not our guild. You find your own family. Codex. I am a lone, unarmed paladin in a PvP wasteland whose god has forsaken him. We once shared sexy time together. Crit heal my loneliness. Okay. This convention is a perfect opportunity for you to be somebody else. Someone who's less jerky. You might be able to find some friends here. But those friends? Not us. Wow. No quote. Maybe he actually listened. I'm just glad the mystery is solved. Last night, I dreamed of a furry gnawing my face off. It was starting to get to me. Please don't do that. So yesterday, when I saw you making your robots beat up famous peoples, I knew I had to step in. Agreed. I just need a good night's sleep. Clara, you helped me regain my conscience. For that, I want to do you a favor. Are we going dancing? Even better. Oh. I've taken 28 hours of crafts classes over the past two days, so we're gonna build you a costume that's so awesome, Sausage, that those steampunk guys are gonna be begging to take you back. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Do you need help? Remember, I'm pregnant. Nope, I've got it all taken care of. Ugh, I don't remember driving up with this thing. Ah, robots. My loyal henchman. No, 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 no. This is not why I texted you here today. I'm not going to the Dragons and Pastel panel. Nor will I be attending the Android Girlfriends Seminar, programming your own passion. In fact, I'm not going to be going to any panels ever again. Although, I can now sculpt any alien head in the sci-fi universe from spreadable cheese. How cool! Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> I've done too much mass damage. And now, I'm going to step down from the Iron Throne. Big speeched. No, 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 no. Shh. Don't speak. They never do. I made up my mind. The Seed Savers Buddy Network for making cool friendships, and ugh, I gotta work on that stupid title. It's dissolved. It's been a pleasure serving with you, Spartans. Dismissed it. I am so proud of you. Hand me that blowtorch. Let's burn things. Ah. Ah. Now what? There he is. There's Floyd Petrovsky. Look at all those papers. I bet it's the contract to sell the game and his soul. Hey, early birds, huh? Look, I didn't plan on hiring booth babes today, but uh, for you, I make an exception. Um, that's Floyd Petrowski in there, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Your friend busted his balls pretty good the other day. She'll know as well as me. Great, I made an impression. I super really want to meet him. Can we go back there? What? Say hi. Say hello. Hell no. Mm -mm. Boss is deep busy today. He's making a really big announcement after the costume contest tonight, so... Hmm. What announcement? Hmm. Come on. You can tell us. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Y'all giving birth? Because that's what it looked like. I'm not just some weird internet gamer type of dude that's just going to go for every single chick that flirts with me, okay? That was flirting. I'm going to stand right here in a stance of power. Cross me if you want to. What are we going to do now? If we eat the doofus out. In the meantime, I haven't gotten a chance to play the new demo yet. Recite to me the top of your road. Okay. 
Oh, thus, ye audience, this be the Cheesy Beards Pirate warning you to listen, or I'll cut your internet with me cheesy mind. You may have to offer a discount for the accent. <coughs> What's the meaning of this? I'm giving no one refunds. Your pirate friend blew me and my friends off for more important people. He slammed the door in our faces. <laughs> OK, OK. Ladies, let's be real for a second. Really on different levels. And hey, if the shoe had been on the other foot? I want it on record that as his manager, I do not discriminate against anyone who's paying. I'm equally unfond of everyone. Squeeze the cheese! Squeeze the cheese! Squeeze the cheese! This is a PR disaster. I'm not doing anything Please other cheese. famous people Please wouldn't do, right? Please right, guys? Please the cheese. Please right? Please the cheese. Please the cheese. Come on, guys. Please you. Please Shut please up! Please hey, how you doing? Please Good. Please What's your name? Your Padawan learns the hardest lesson. Never invite the wrath of fans. Cherry, you're mad. Sigh. These changes are retarded. They gift Flurry arrows? What am I supposed to do, slash hug them to death? Shh, we don't want anyone more demoralized. Wait a second. We've been playing for two hours. Your point? <gasps> There's the RTX guy. They're gonna talk business. We've gotta hear what they're talking about. We can't just barge in there. Well, what then? Check it. Hey, hero. Huh? Hi. Wow. <laughs> Want to take down the Hydra boss at the Waller and Pools? Yeah. Here, join our party and we can chat too. Play with girls? Real girls? Yes. Warrior for hire. <laughs> cool. Think of it What are you doing? Shh. You're talking. Red Keep your show. finger on the push to talk button. Cool? Cool. Baby? Baby, this is so hot. Finally, someone who embraces a stereotype. I can hear them talking. Awesome plan. Ladies, you ready to jet? In a sec. Keep pressing. Wait, wait, wait. Floyd just asked for their business plan. Oh my god. Ladies, <laughs> you're cute, but I'm kind of dying over here. So are we. You've got to be kidding. Codex, you were right. We got to tell the guilt. Ladies? Ladies? Aw, mega boner. I called a guild summit. This is so official. I've read a lot about summits in history classes I've taken. I seem to remember that out of one of them, they produced the UN. Oh, and there's that one G something that European hippies don't like. I'm not stupid, I'm just ignorant about things I don't RSS. And I'm not putting my summit on the scale of world peace or uh, European hippies, but this is our game we're talking about. We've got to get off the convention distractions and focus on what matters. I mean, th this is serious. Clara, I need you to take minutes. Stop eating for the mini bar! Clara, I, I wouldn't pay say for that crap. Why don't you throw money in the street? The situation is as dire as I neurotically surmised yesterday. Must be a first. Borg, what are you doing? Leaving. This has been a horrific experience. I don't care to keep existing in this time space. But you're our ride. But I suggest you get packing. We're discussing the future of our game and in, in, in forming a mandate. Besides, we can't leave yet. Zabu and I spent all morning making the most kick-ass costume accessory ever invented. Yeah. Claire and I are gonna have a three-way with the trophy later. Huh? Please turn that off. The RTX guy said that their company wants to make the game more accessible. As fans, we have no right to criticize what people do with their creative properties. Oh, please. You're just sensitive about that chick you were flirting with earlier. Bork flirting? Hurl. Yeah, he dropped smart mouth with some milfy TV star, put his foot in it, and she stormed off in a huff. I alienated the fantasy love of my life. I can no more heal this wound of mortification than pay full price for miniature golf. Start getting an s and check. Then she'll come sniffing around. Work for me and Codex. Yeesh. <laughs> Stink eyed. Listen up, guys. They're gonna make the game free to play. Appeal to casuals. Casuals? Don't aneurysm yet. It gets worse. The game will be free to play, but they're gonna microcharge for everything. Changing costume colors, bank space rentals, epic loot drops. I change my colors all the time. I need rainbows at my fingertips. Clara, is that from the mini bar? No. This morning, we were up 200 bucks in snack charges. Your fetus owes me. 
And if we're checking out, so do all of you. Why? You're covering the room. You're the one who made us come, and you made all that money off your booth. We were banned from our early income source because Blades went devalicious on our fans. They overreacted. I was just being me, but more fancy. Ahem. <clears throat> They're getting rid of all blood graphic effects. Parents demanded it in order to be able to market to tweens. Screw tweens. Weren't you just one yourself? They're censoring all profanity. They're getting rid of nipple NPC graphics. No! Centaur chests are the best! I won't let this happen. I'm a mom and I f***ing love swearing. Clara, are you seriously wiping your face with one of our shirts? Whoa, scary villain costume. Not only did you ditch our business this weekend, but you are using an $8 face napkin. They are taking death out of the game. Instead, characters will just fall to the ground and canaries will circle the heads for 15 seconds. Oh, oh, they're making an app. <sighs> Adios, Guadalajara all. Fork, stop. Listen, I almost quit the game yesterday, but I didn't because I love you, assholes. Oh, that was weird. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, after the same with you and the same with Floyd, I just... I just want to quit everything. Well, that would suck. No one lets me harass them like you do. And you technically can't quit. I believe I have you under contract. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna, but look at us. This convention has separated us. How are we gonna survive something like the change of our whole universe? Fighting that would be hopeless. I'll have to abandon Clara and start a new Clara? Ugh, poor former me Clara. They haven't signed all the paperwork yet. Floyd is totally stalling. He's neurotic like Codex, we can convince him. If we can track Floyd down at the ball, maybe we can show him as a guild how important the game is to us and then and then convince him not to sell? Hello, <laughs> you guys really need to check out the fine print of the program. It says that costumes are required for the costume ball and I ain't got one. We can use my steampunk one. Well gee willikers for you. But the rest of us have no more spendable income left to purchase frivolous sundry. Yeah, and I can't wear my pirate outfit or I'll get clubbed with a thousand lightsabers. Fun fact, I know a fashion designer. <laughs> um, yeah, I can design, sure, but where are we gonna find materials? Mega Game of Players dressed 24 7. It's a geek and gamer heaven. If you're not here, you're out of luck. Your entry's just 300 bucks. Costume contest starts in 10 minutes. Line up. Oh, okay, watch the Munchkin outfit, Tink, right? Clara, you ready? We gotta go find Floyd. First, check out what Zabu and I made. Yeah, Viola. You must be bleeping me! I had a boyfriend once who stole a traffic cone from a parking garage while we were on a date together. It was the most illegal thing I've ever been a party to, and I panicked every time I heard a siren for like two years straight. I know the guild's gonna have to break some rules to convince Floyd not to sell the game, but today I am willing to go behind the Gray Bar Hotel for the cause. That's prison speak for, well, you know, prison. <laughs> for once, I am risk taking in everything. I'm wearing an outfit Tink made for herself. I'm in danger of slipping nipplage with every step. Viva la revolucione! Ooh. Okay, that's not for me. You guys made a whole blimp? Yeah, and this is how you operate it. <laughs> I didn't take the extreme cosplay and the GoBot robotics panels for nothing. Guys, we're here to talk to Floyd. Okay, so forget about the blink thing and let's go. Airship Codex. This creation is awe-inspiring. Hey, is that the door to my van? Oh yeah, we got crazy creative. <laughs> Uh, what number are you? Uh, we don't have a slot. Oh, if you aren't on my list, I can't have you walk or float in at the last minute. I'm sorry. Oh, but my math, how quaint. No, no, don't play it off, dear. This thing is fracking amazing. Uh, Clipper Lady, I'm with them. They have a slot, right? I'm on their team. I earned it. Lizette. Gerald. We are short a quorum. Alina was taken home with the influenza. The what? Bad chicken salad. So is she with you or not? <sighs> Welcome to the foe. It will require my assistance to operate from the ground while you're on stage. Would you please let me drive it? Hey guys, I just saw Floyd enter some VIP area. There are burly men guarding it. Burly men? Oh, I'll get them. Get ready, everyone. We have to stall. Floyd is going to announce as soon as the costumes finish. Blades, 
They'll recognize you. Go on stage and stall everyone. What am I supposed to do? Start by begging forgiveness from the fans. There's a spotter there. Mark and I will stay here because we're going to blow some freaking minds. They'll let us in the special area, right? No problem. Yeah, just bat my eyelashes. Yeah, I'll just bat my wings, too, because that'll be Shut them up. Ugh. Every time I think I'm fragged, they respawn me back in. Oh, no loss. Oh, my God. <laughs> Honey, we all found costumes from your native country. No words. <laughs> oh, you. Next year, you can make us all costumes, Peanut. <laughs> Never. Move. <laughs> Arigato. Thank you all for coming. Look. Hey, 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 excuse me. Um, ladies and ladies, I might be a face you recognize with fondness or loathing. Uh, Rachel, go and volunteer. Uh, I really owe you an apology. Um, I've done you wrong, girl, and I'm here to say that I'm sorry. What about me? Do you remember me? Yeah, and um, what was your name again? No, no! Holy butternut. She's wearing her Time Rings costume. Fate, must you rub your Tabasco irony in my tender loins? Hi. We have famous friends in there. Unlikely. But uh, you can always use more hot girls in the VIP area. I watch cable shows. We're like furniture, so... Chicks with subtlety and outfits that fit properly. Oh, God. How long has that been out? Move on. Now. This chick was from L.A. <laughs> Hello, Hollywood. Oh, Ashford. Oh, man, you smell like garlic and peanut butter. It's kind of a weird combo, but, you know, I don't judge, so all right. <laughs> oh, and Ed, a uh, character named Ferrandis, right? I remember you told me one time you were so drunk you peed in your own pantry. That's, that's a good story. Thank you, Cheesy. I love you again. Oh. Apologizing feels good. God, you're really taking me. Seriously, I was in the middle of a crisis situation back there, you know? And now I'm in the middle of another one. No, not Stan Lee. Are you kidding me? No, this is convention suicide, guys. We've got to get in there. Don't yell at me. I'm not the one who had my elasto thong sticking out. It has no more structural integrity. I don't know why. Forget it. We're toast. Arf, arf. Bark, bark, bark. Congrats. I think. And I love this one. This guy came in from uh, Japan. Hey, I didn't play Terry's video yet. She has three kids and one of the big allergy. I remember people. Thank you, cheesy kid. But let's move on to the costume contest, shall we? Now, our mistress of ceremonies, someone you will surely recognize, Charity from Time Rings. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The first costume group is Steampunk Verite. Pedal to the brass fixtures, duckies. Wrist, wrist. Arm, arm. Oh, my Lena would have loved this view. Damn the chicken salad. Well, I've never been in a parade before. I, I should have made my hair bigger. <laughs> risk, risk. Arm, arm. Risk, risk. I'll never sign your comics, monster. Tell your men to fall back. Guys, we can't go back the way it was. You know, I actually had second thoughts, too, when Codex and I totally made out. But I knew it wasn't going to work. I want to be good and noble in this world, and you should too. What are you wearing? Did I create that character? Well, you win some, you lose some. Guys, just think about who you're dressed as. You're the Master Chiefs. I corrupted you, but you can fight back. You're better than this, Master Chief number one. And so are you, Master Chief number two. You can't capture and tie up Stan Lee. He's a legend. I agree. You know what? I'll just untie him. Stand right here. Oh, it just slides off. Oh. I'm free! Son, I've created 
many a superhero. Stan, that's it? It's a, I feel like there's a second part to that sentence that you're... Yeah. No, 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 listen. Lloyd, we would like to talk to you. Hey! Stop it! We encourage furry fornication to get in there. Hey, those are my friends. Let them go. Fork, full steam ahead. Thinking back on what I vaguely know of history, there is no event involving a dirigible blimpmobile that has ever gone right. I mean, didn't those things famously crash and burn? That's why we invented airplanes, because those balloon things were not reliable. And in general, our whole plan to save the game was just like... I mean, we would make the worst Scooby-Doo team ever. Our van would crash, the bad guys would get away with haunting whatever, and, and we'd lose the dog. Come to think of it, Zabu did disappear pretty quick off the top. Woo, <laughs> Zabu snacks! <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, this thing's starboard! Damn crash! Where's my stuff? In the range of time! Are we still on the continent? <sighs> Wicked ride. Indeed. Good call, Floyd. Let's get this wrapped up before the announcement. Yeah, I also need to grab my inhaler. Tink, they're gonna go sign something. Ah. Yeah. Zabu. And I can't believe I didn't get Stanley's autograph. He's sitting right here. Master Chiefs? We need to mobilize the Seat Savers Network one last time. Get out your cell phones. We need to do this for the good of mankind. To recapture that halo glory! <laughs> I'm not a judge. I'm in a frickin' butterfly costume. Is this some uh, nerd power trip? Yeah, it is. Intimidated? Huh? I can make these guys sit anywhere I want. I mean, well, not make, like entreat or appeal to a higher. It's collaborative work. work. You know, you need to talk to those girls. <laughs> Looks like you dweebs got a date with security. Mom! Dad! Hey. Meet my fiance! <laughs> You're engaged to my baby! Welcome to the no. family! You're so cute! Son, I'm in waste management. I'm out of here. Uh, why do I have so many haters? Paper or plastic? Opinion? I was wrong. So wrong. You had your reasons. I insist on my wrongness. Oh. Now let's get you out of harm's way, Madeline. Right. Okay. Let's continue with the costume contest. Come on, let's go. Dude, that was epic. Oh, I hope someone caught that on video. Viral time. We got it all. Do you mind if we use your confessional for our website? Let me just speak to my manager. Oh, God. Oh, eyes burning. Um, for the price of our hotel bill and a modest licensing fee, I'm sure we could work something out. Floyd. Uh, 
Not a good time for fandom. I made my decision. Done. I am going to talk to you like I talk to my webcam, which never judges me, so this is super, super hard to do. All the crazy stuff that's happened tonight, that's been me and my friends, because we love the game that you created so much. It brought us together as a guild. I would never be friends with so many different kinds of people in real life. Um, not that I'm racist or ageist or anything is. I did use the word mongoloid one time, thinking it was okay. It is not okay. The point is that, um, you created something wonderful. Don't allow it to be broken. It would, it would break us apart. You know, that's, that's a really nice sentiment, but this is my life. It's my future. How would you like every morning wake up and read things like, you know, oh, you look sickly in person, you know? Oh, I lost my save point. Hope you die in your sleep. Wouldn't that make you like, you know, think about what you do for a living? Look, it is not easy to do what you do, but no one else can do it. You've got to think about it like a, a game party. You are the tank, you are front and center, and you have to be shielded properly so you can swing your broad sort of creativity across the... That is so stupid. Please don't rage quit. Just reconfigure your party. That is, unless you really don't care about your legacy and the game and, and the people who play it. But I think you do. I think you care about it as much as I care about my guild. I, I, I hate making decisions. That concludes our costume contest. Mistress of Ceremonies! <laughs> <laughs> yes, my turn. <laughs> oh, thank you. Whew, it's hot in here. <laughs> oh yes, announce the winner. And the winner of the costume contest and the $20 gift certificate for bowling is Steampunk Verite. <laughs> We won something. <laughs> mm, back off, Sir Poncelot. You guys were just my accessories. It's mine. <laughs> I won. Yes! yes! Bowling! <laughs> Great. Oh, that was very sweet. Thank you. Okay, now a word from one of our sponsors. You know him as the creator of an MMO that you love and play. Please, hands together for Floyd Petrowski! You know what? Who can resist a cute, generic superhero? I agree, I am cute right now. I'll give it a shot, but on one condition. Hello everybody, I'm uh, Floyd Petrowski. I was gonna make uh, some big announcements about, about changing the game, but um, if, you, if you played the demo, um, it, it, it's all there, so. No uh, changes uh, to the game. That's right, Chet. N not gonna change anything. You know what? Screw gamers, all right? I'm moving to comic books. They'll work for food stamps. He's not very likable. Um, so, you know, we just thought, hey, let's just keep doing what we're doing, you know, and uh, maybe give a fresh perspective on it. Uh, the uh, Gleaming Cross spell for priests is totally back in. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, thank you. Who wants some free t-shirts? Best business ever! We did it! Yeah, we did something. This con is done. Can't wait to be sitting in front of a computer to socialize again. Bye, Fabu. See you next year. For sure. Down with the Covenant. Well, Are those what? your robot friends? Now, Pumpkin, we were right disappointed about that fella not being your real fiance. I wanted a double wedding. Now, you answer the phone from now on, okay? You know the probability of that. But Christmas, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> you make us elf outfits, and we'll make you teriyaki candy canes. <laughs> uh, don't push it, please. Uh, break it up. I want to see my kids. Wow, did I just say that? <laughs> April Lou. Bye, April Lou. I'm going to miss you so much. April, April Lou. Clara. Your adventures in snacking cost me half my weekend scratch. What? Does the phrase minibar for breakfast ring a bell? Oh, yeah. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. <laughs> That's a 
take it home with us? <gasps> Ew, hipsters. I love your look. I'll miss you. Call me. I will Skype, it's free. Move it. Hey, you ready to drive? Yeah, I am. I just moved back to Pete. <laughs> I don't know if I can drive after last night. Why? What happened? Hmm. Codex. See you Monday morning, right? Work on those ideas of yours. Yeah, I kind of forgot to tell you guys something. <laughs>